Hello everyone, my name is Loco and today we're going to be talking about Mutalisk Upgrade. Now, on my last video that I put out a little while ago for Zerg vs. Terran, there seems to be a little bit of controversy on what upgrades you should be going for with Mutalisk. So today I'm going to be talking about Mutalisk in depth, what upgrades you want to be getting, if you want to be getting upgrades at all, and in what matchup you want to get what. Okay, now first of all, do you want to make Mutalisk upgrades at all? Now this is actually something that a lot of people are a little bit confused about because oftentimes you watch a pro gamer play and they get a Spire up, they make Mutalisk, um, they attack with them but they don't really research the upgrades just yet. And then all of a sudden they switch into something like Roaches or Hydralisk or something in general but they're not really making any Mutalisk upgrades. And they're a little bit confused by that, because when they go for Mutalisk themselves, it's kind of obvious that Mutalisk with upgrades are stronger, right? Now, this is one of the most important things to realize, I guess, is that whenever you see a pro gamer do such a thing, or you see a live streamer doing that, he's either, well, he's just straight up forgetting the upgrade, which is something that happens sometimes, but it doesn't really happen that often. But more often than not, he's actually just doing the Spire play to enforce a certain reaction out of the Protoss opponent. Let's say you're playing versus a Protoss player and you know he's going for double Stargate and you throw up a Spire. What the Zerg player in that case is trying to do is make a few Mutalisks, show them to the Protoss player, force him to start producing a lot of Phoenixes and then push with Hydralisk. Because Phoenix is obviously can't really shoot down what it can lift up, but it's a really smart little way to actually force the Protoss into a certain reaction, in which case the Mutalisk upgrades are not gonna matter at all. So whenever you're going to go for Mutalisk into a switch of something else, so that might be Mutalisk into a lot of Zergling Baneling, or Mutalisk into a lot of Hydra Roach, or Mutalisk into whatever, I don't really care, but whenever you're doing that, and you only plan on making maybe maybe like six, seven, eight Mutalisk at most, it's not going to be really worth going for any more than also spending like money and, and gas on upgrades. Now, whenever you go for more than that amount of Mutalisk, so which is most of the case that you're gonna go for Spire and Mutalisk play, um, you probably do want to get upgrades, but which do you want to get? Do you want to get plus one armor or do you want to pl get plus one attack? Now, first off, for Zerg vs. Terran and Zerg vs. Protoss. Let's think a little bit. What are you going to use the Mutalisk for? Are you going to be counter-attacking with them? Are you going to try and pick up dropships? Or are you going to straight up fight versus the Terran or the Protoss army? In all honesty, your answer should pretty much never be the second part. You should always be going for counter-attacks or picking up dropships or just using them very defensively. But you should never really be like fighting a Protoss or a Terran straight up with Mutalisk because it's just not gonna help you much at all. Mutalisk are not really a fighting unit in that sense. They're really, really fast. They can really get across the map super fast. So you usually wanna play them to their strength and their strength is not straight up fighting. So whenever you're going for a counter-attack style, you're picking off dropships, you're picking off maybe little tiny parts of armies, you're trying to poke into the main base, kill a few probes, fly out of there, go into the main, kill a missile turret or two, and maybe a reactor after that and fly out of there. In that situation, you don't plan on taking a straight up fight. So the attack upgrade is going to be much, much more valuable for you because you don't really plan on taking any damage anyway. You just want to get in there very fast, do as much damage as you can and then get out of there again. And that is super important to realize because in that sense, you will never really be upgrading attack up or armor upgrades, right? So whenever you're going to be playing a counter attacky harassment based style, the Mutalisk attack upgrade is going to be far, far superior. So that is as far as Zerg vs. Protoss and Zerg vs. Terran goes. Now for Zerg vs. Zerg, it is a little bit tricky, so we'd rather just jump into the game because I can just tell you that armor upgrades are far, like, better than attack upgrades in Zerg vs. Zerg Muta vs. Muta fights, but honestly, let's have a look at it. Okay, so here we are in the unit test mode. This is pretty much just a custom map that someone created, and it basically allows you to face off between certain types of units. So on the right side right here, we got 10 Mutalisk, you can see it's 10 of them. On the left side, we got also 10 Mutalisk. The only difference is that the right side ones actually have plus one flyer carapace upgrade, and the left side ones have plus one attack. So this one has plus one armor, this group has plus one attack. Let's just let them fight to each other and see who wins. Now, as you can see, the plus one attack or a plus one armor guy actually easily won this fight. I've done this fight a bunch of times actually, and it's the first time where there's four left. But every single time there's either two, three, and apparently four Mutalisk left for the player that was going for armor upgrades, opposed to the one that was going for the attack upgrades. So you can just see how much better the armor upgrade is in Zerg vs Zerg, Muta vs Muta battles. 
Okay, now just for argument's sake, once again, we have on the left side, we got all the mutalisks right here. There's 25 of them right now. There's 25 mutalisks on the left as well, or on the right as well. But the ones on the left have plus three attack. And for argument's sake, the ones on the right have plus three armor. Let's see how this one goes. Now I guess it's kind of obvious, the ones with the armor upgrades have a gigantic advantage. There's actually 10 mutalisks left, which is basically more than like a third of them. Okay, so to sum it up once more, in Zerg vs Zerg, you want to be pretty much always be getting the armor upgrade, unless you know your opponent is going Roach only, Roaches can't shoot up, in which case you want to take uh, the attack upgrade. However, if it's mutalisk versus mutalisk fight, the armor upgrade is going to be far, far, far superior. In Zerg vs Stern and Zerg vs Protoss, you will pretty much 99% of the time will be playing like a counter attacky harassment based style, in which case the armor upgrade is not really gonna benefit you at all. So in that situation, gonna be getting the attack upgrade. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it and you wanna see more of mm, YouTube videos from me and stuff, Click the subscribe button and you'll get a little notification as soon as I upload new videos. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile and I'll see you again. Well, how do you play it, pretty much? In this series of videos, I'm going to go over the Zerg vs 